In this video, we're going to take a look at a uh, pattern called Three White Soldiers and Three Black Crows. Now, uh, the reason they're called White Soldiers and Black Crows goes back, it harkens back to the old black and white charts. In modern trading, most charts are red and green, so it would be, uh, you know, something to the effect of, I guess you could say, uh, three green soldiers, uh, three red crows. Doesn't make as much sense um, from a visual standpoint, but that's basically what you're looking at. So, really, this is the pattern. It's it's that simple. Now, the purest pattern will have gaps lower, and then they'll rally a gap lower, and then they'll rally. Now, this is an extraordinarily um, difficult pattern to achieve in most markets, uh, with perhaps the uh, exception being the stock market. So we actually use a variation of this. Um, all we ask is that you dig into the candlestick from the previous uh, candlestick. So, for example, you get a white candlestick and uh, or a green candlestick, and then maybe you continue to go higher, but in the interim, you pull back into it, right? So maybe it looks something like that. And then the next one would be something like this. Now, this basically tells you the same thing. And what it tells you is that buyers are becoming aggressive. Three candles in a row, the three white soldiers pattern, or three green soldiers, very bullish, suggesting that you're going to see a pretty big move higher. Typically, what you'll do is you'll put your stop loss behind the middle candlestick and you'll buy on the top. Some people will put their stop all the way down the bottom. It really kind of comes down to what you're comfortable with. But for the most part, if you're going to retrace that much of the move, you're going to have a losing trade, so you might as well save some of your cash, right? So with the three black crows, as I'm sure you probably have already figured out, it is basically three black negative candlesticks uh, traded the exact same way. You know, you're looking at a scenario where you really are starting to see momentum accelerate to the downside. So let's take a look at this in the real world. Here in Bitcoin, the hourly chart, you can see that we rallied and then we pulled back and then we rallied for that hour. And then we pulled back into this hour and then rallied again. So once we broke the top of this, it showed extreme continuation you could put your stop right there and you can see it just took off. I mean, it was a straight shot higher. So that's a three uh, white soldiers or three green soldiers set up. And in Litecoin, uh, you get one, two, three. Uh, candlesticks in a row. These are black crows. You can break down below the bottom of the candlestick pattern and you can see stop here, stop there. doesn't really matter. It goes all the way down to the $41 level. Now, again, this is a bit of a, um adjustment for day trading. But if you think about it, it makes perfect sense. If you get expanding volume or expanding range, three candlesticks in a row, well, that means something. So that's how, as a day trader, we use this pattern. You can see we had broken through support right here at $45, uh, basically. So that was your first clue. You also could have uh, traded with, um, you know, perhaps Bollinger Bands. Because what you're going to see here is we had broken down that line and started to walk the line. So that's a very strong side to the downside. And you can see that the 20 SMA, simple moving average, was right there. So you know that the 20 exponential is going to be probably just below it. So you were already underneath that to begin with. As you can see, when you zoom way out, there's an argument to be made for this as well, which would be a major symmetrical triangle being broken down. 
And you did, in fact, get that move all the way down to here. So a lot of different factors uh, setting up in this trade. And with these trades, with the indicators, your job is to, when you see the pattern, form at support and resistance, you need to find a couple of other reasons to get involved. This is why you should have your support and resistance levels drawn on your chart to begin with, and then the pattern, and then the indicators. And then when you lay all that together, you have confluence, confluence leads to profits.